Welcome to your channel please don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Willard Carroll Smith Jr., born September 25, 1968, is an American actor, rapper, and film producer. Smith has been nominated for five Golden Globe Awards and two Academy Awards, and has won four Grammy Awards. During the late 1980s, he achieved modest fame as a rapper under the name The Fresh Prince. In 1990, his popularity increased dramatically when he began starring in the NBC television series The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, which ran for six seasons until 1996. After the series ended, Smith transitioned from television to film and went on to star in numerous blockbuster films, including Independence Day 1996 and Men in Black 1997. He is the only actor to have starred in eight consecutive films which grossed over $100 million in the United States box office. Eleven consecutive films which grossed over $150 million internationally. And eight consecutive films which opened at the number one spot in the U.S. box office tally. In 2013, Forbes named Smith the most bankable star in the world. In April 2007, Newsweek called him the most powerful actor in Hollywood. As of 2014, 17 of the 21 films in which he had leading roles have accumulated worldwide gross earnings of over $100 million each, with five taking in over $500 million each in global box office receipts. As of 2016, his films have grossed $7.5 billion at the global box office. For his roles as boxer Muhammad Ali in Ali 2001 and stockbroker Chris Gardner in The Pursuit of Happiness 2006, Smith received Academy Award nominations for Best Acto. Smith was born on September 25, 1968, in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, to Caroline Nay Bright, a Philadelphia School Board Administrator, and Willard Carroll Smith Sr. A U.S. Air Force veteran and refrigeration engineer. He grew up in West Philadelphia's Winfield neighborhood and was raised Baptist. He has an older sister named Pamela and two younger siblings, twins Harry and Ellen. Smith attended Our Lady of Lords, a private Catholic elementary school in Philadelphia. His parents separated when he was 13, but did not actually divorce until around 2000. Smith attended Overbrook High School. While it has been widely reported that Smith turned down a scholarship to attend the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, MIT, he never applied to college. Because he wanted to rap, Smith says he was admitted to a pre-engineering summer program at MIT for high school students. But he did not attend. Smith married Sherry Zompino in 1992. Their son Willard Carroll, Trey, Smith III was born on November 11, 1992. The two divorced in 1995. Trey appeared in his father's music video for the 1998 single, Just the Two of Us. He also acted in two episodes of the sitcom All of Us. And has appeared on the Oprah Winfrey Show and the David Blaine, Real or Magic TV special. Smith married actress Jada Corin Pinkett in 1997. They met when Pinkett auditioned for a role as Smith's character's girlfriend in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. The pair produce films through their joint production company Overbrook Entertainment and Westbrook Inc. Together they have two children, Jaden Christopher Sire Smith, born 1998. His co-star in The Pursuit of Happiness and After Earth, and Willow Camille Rain Smith, born 2000 who appeared as his daughter in I Am Legend. Smith and his brother Harry own Trayball Development Inc., a Beverly Hills-based company named after Trey Smith, and his family reside in Los Angeles, California. In 2018, Smith celebrated his 50th birthday by performing a bungee jump from a helicopter in the Grand Canyon. Smith was insured by Lloyds of London for $200 million for the jump which raised money for the charity Global Citizen. In October 2021, on a GQ segment, Smith called Wild Wild West as a, a thorn in my side. 
while reflecting on both his best and worst movies, and added that, to see myself with chaps, I don't like it, while saying that the Men in Black franchise was his favorite performance. Religious Views Smith was raised in a Baptist household and attended a Roman Catholic school and church. In a 2013 interview, he said he did not identify as religious. In 2015, Smith said in an interview with the Christian Post that his Christian faith, which was instilled in him by his grandmother, helped him to accurately portray Bennett Omalu in concussion, saying, she was my spiritual teacher. She was that grandmother at the church, the one having the kids doing the Easter presentations and putting on the Christmas plays and her kids and grandkids had to be first. She was the most spiritually certain person that I had ever met in my entire life. Even to the point that when she was dying she was happy. Like she was really excited about going to heaven. In 2018, Smith performed the Hindu rite of Abhisheka of Lord Shiva at Haridwar, India. He also performed an arti of the Holy River Ganga. He has said that he feels a deep connection to Hindu spirituality and Indian astrology. Philanthropy Smith gave $1.3 million to charities in 2007, of which $450,000 went to two Christian ministries, and $122,500 went to three Scientology organizations. The remaining beneficiaries included a Los Angeles mosque, other Christian-based schools and churches, and the Yitzhak Rabin Memorial Center in Israel. Smith and his wife have also founded a private elementary school in Calabasas, California. The New Village Leadership Academy. Federal tax filing showed that Smith donated $1.2 million to the school in 2010. Political Views. Smith donated $4,600 to the 2008 presidential campaign of Democrat Barack Obama. On December 11, 2009, Smith and his wife hosted the Nobel Peace Prize concert in Oslo, Norway to celebrate Obama's winning of the prize. In 2012, Smith stated he supported legalizing same-sex marriage. In 2021, Smith announced that production of his upcoming film, Emancipation, is being pulled from Georgia because of the recent passage of the Election Integrity Act of 2021, which critics view as a restrictive voting law. Smith and director Antoine Fuqua released a joint statement, We cannot in good conscience provide economic support to a government that enacts regressive voting laws that are designed to restrict voter access. Views on marriage and relationships Smith and his wife Jada Pinkett Smith have expressed unconventional views on their monogamy. Jokingly calling their commitment, bad marriage for life, both he and Pinkett Smith have admitted to having extramarital relationships and believing in the freedom to pursue them. Smith said he wanted a polyamorous relationship with actress Halle Berry and ballerina Misty Copeland but through therapy ultimately abandoned the idea. Smith started as the MC of the hip-hop duo DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. With his childhood friend Jeffrey, DJ Jazzy Jeff, Townsend's turntablist and producer, Towns and Smith were introduced to each other by chance in 1985. As Towns was performing at a house party only a few doors down from Smith's residence. And he was missing his hype man. Smith decided to fill in. They both felt strong chemistry. And Towns was upset when his hype man finally made it to the party. Soon after, the two decided to join forces. Smith enlisted a friend to join as the beatboxer of the group. Clarence Holmes, Ready Rock C. Making them a trio. Philadelphia-based Word Up Records released their first single in late 1985 to 1986 when A&R man Paul Oakenfold introduced them to Word Up with their single, Girls Ain't Nothing But Trouble, a tale of funny misadventures that landed Smith and his former DJ and rap partner Mark Forrest, Lord Supreme, in trouble. The song sampled the theme song of, I Dream of Jeannie. Smith became known for light-hearted storytelling raps and capable, though profanity-free, battle, rhymes. The single became a hit a month before Smith graduated from high school.
Smith's first major roles were in the drama Six Degrees of Separation, 1993, and the action film Bad Boys, 1995, in which he starred opposite Martin Lawrence. The latter film was commercially successful, grossing $141.4 million worldwide. However, critical reception was generally mixed. In 1996, Smith starred as part of an ensemble cast in Roland Emmerich's Independence Day. The film was a massive blockbuster, becoming the second highest grossing film in history at the time and establishing Smith as a prime box office draw. In 1998, Smith starred with Gene Hackman in Enemy of the State. The following year he turned down the role of Neo in The Matrix in favor of Wild Wild West, 1999. Despite the disappointment of Wild Wild West, Smith said that he has no regrets about his decision. Asserting that Keanu Reeves' performance as Neo was superior to what Smith himself would have achieved, although in interviews subsequent to the release of Wild Wild West he stated that he made a mistake on Wild Wild West. That could have been better. On December 10, 2007, Smith was honored at Grauman's Chinese Theater on Hollywood Boulevard. Smith left an imprint of his hands and feet outside the theater in front of many fans. Later that month, Smith starred in the film I Am Legend, released on December 14, 2007. Alongside marginally positive reviews, its opening was the largest ever for a film released in the United States during December. Smith himself has said that he considers the film to be aggressively unique. A reviewer said that the film's commercial success cemented Smith's standing as the number one box office draw in Hollywood. On December 1, 2008, TV Guide reported that Smith was selected as one of America's top 10 most fascinating people of 2008 for a Barbara Walters ABC special that aired on December 4, 2008. Smith starred opposite Margot Robbie in the romance drama Focus. Released on February 27, 2015, he played Nikki Spurgeon, a veteran con artist who takes a young, attractive woman under his wing. Smith was set to star in the sci-fi thriller Brilliance, an adaptation of Marcus Sakey's novel of the same name scripted by Jurassic Park writer David Cope but he left the project to work on the Ridley Scott-produced sports drama Concussion. In Concussion, Smith played Drive, Bennett Omalu of the Brain Injury Research Institute, the first to discover chronic traumatic encephalopathy. Smith reported he had doubts about the film early in the production, saying, Some of my happiest memories are of watching my son catch and throw a football. I didn't want to be the guy who did a movie saying football could be dangerous. These views subsided when he met Omalu, whose words about American ideals resonated with Smith. Smith's performance was praised for being sensitive and understated. In 2016, Smith played Deadshot in the supervillain team-up action film Suicide Squad. Smith's participation in the film meant choosing it over a role in Independence Day, Resurgence which he said would be like, clinging and clawing backwards. Later that year, Smith starred in director David Frankel's drama Collateral Beauty, playing a New York advertising executive who succumbs to a deep depression after a personal tragedy, weeks after signing Smith onto the film. His father was diagnosed with cancer, from which he died in 2016, as part of his role required him to read about religion and the afterlife. He was brought closer to the elder Smith, calling the experience a beautiful way to prepare for a movie and an even more majestic way to say goodbye to my father. In 2019, Smith invested $46 million in esports organization General G with Smith's Dreamers Fund, which he co-founded with Keisuke Honda. As of June 17, 2020, it was announced that Smith will star in Emancipation directed by Antoine Fuqua, in which he will portray Peter, a runaway slave, who outsmarts hunters in the Louisiana swamp on a journey to the Union Army. On June 19, 2021, Smith announced the title and cover for his upcoming autobiography, Will, which is planned to be released on November 9, 
2021. More recently, he and his Westbrook Studios company signed a deal with National Geographic. He is set to embark on a tour for the promotion of his book in autumn 2021. With stops in Philadelphia, Brooklyn, Chicago, Los Angeles and London. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel and like the video.